excuse me. Excuse me. What in the world are you thinking? Me, Gene, the first thing you need to do is to tell these people to shut up if you want to hear what I got to say. What up, y'all? It's KMB, the sexy ninja for C Plus Studios and the Paper Saber Universe. Ooh, I swiveled my hips on that one. Nah. We are talking about AEW's Rampage on April 22nd, 2023. Excalibur, JR, Tony on commentary. Let's just get right into it. Great match to start the, the show with. John Moxley versus Christopher Daniels. Two, you know, an OG in the business. Christopher Daniels still doing his thing, man. It's, it's awesome. And there's a backstage a promo he had after this match that that really touched my that really that really touched my soul because I was just like yeah yeah you're damn right Christopher you're goddamn right so but the, the John Moxley for the win of course got a choke out uh, Blackpool Combat Club you know making their 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 statement here saying like hey you know we we we're, we're here to destroy and conquer anyone and everyone that includes a Christopher Daniels, but John Moxley did show a shine, a shine, a sign of respect, a shine. He showed the shine. <laughs> it was a sign of respect to Christopher Daniels by shaking his hand. For now, Jay Cargill's backstage with Mark Sterling. Uh, she has the big uh, match next week on Dynamite with uh, Taya Valkyrie, and Mark Sterling said that she uses Road to Valhalla, you know, or Jade's finisher. Um, she will be disqualified. So I wonder what uh, Taya's going to do. I bet she's still going to do it. She doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> so, uh, either she won't do it, but she will finally take that TBS championship. I just have a feeling Jade is going to fall to Taya Valkyrie. And I'm I'm waiting for it. I'm waiting for it because I like Taya. And I want to see this. I want to see the story end pretty much. <laughs> we have Hook the Hardys, Isaiah Cassidy promo. Talking about the firm, you know, and there uh, when in the heart, the best part about this was Jeff. Jeff was like, "Hey, I know, blah blah," because but I'm going to retire. I think it's time to retire from me not doing this shit no more. You know, fucking up, doing drugs, DUIs, all this stuff. And I was like, "I, I hope you stick to this, man. I I know I have my demons, and I know you have your demons, and hopefully together we can we can conquer these demons together." You know, as we as as we progress in this life, I'm not saying we're, you know, he, minds are worse, but he he does have he he's been battling this for a very very long time for a very long time, and I hope he sticks to it this time. I hope he does because Jeff deserves deserves the world, you know, and we'll see what happens. Uh, Stokely interrupts on the the Tron, and just 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 enough to distract them. The firm attacks. You know, and Isaiah they they get Isaiah Cassidy, but then the Hardy's got the, the 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 chairs and everything like that. But we'll find out soon when the ultimate deletion will happen to the firm. Uh, Cole Jericho package uh, from last week, a little bit of backstage aftermath. Uh, Britt Baker had a black eye. I don't remember her getting hit in the eye. I saw this on social media too. She even shared a photo of her. I was like, I thought they just. I was like, they just whooped her back with the freaking um, kendo stick, right? I didn't know she got hit in the eye. I was like, damn, I'm sorry, girl. I'm like, god damn, you got, you got beat up. And, uh, of course, Adam Cole's back there. He's like, I am so sorry. It's my fault. Oh, you know. So we'll see what happens. But my, Adam Cole will address the situation on Wednesday. Keith Lee and Dustin Rhodes promo. You know, they're back together as a tag team. So I we'll see where we go from here. And I want to see Dustin on Dynamite as well. You know, I think we're just sticking him on Rampage for now. Uh, you know, I, I feel like he would be a he, an asset in storylines here. You know, especially with the, what's going on with um, Swerve and everything like that. So, but Keith Lee and Dustin Rhodes are back together. Kira Hogan versus Julia Hart. Uh, this was a fun match. Julia Hart for the win. Um, 
this was a fun match. This 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 this, this was a match that I didn't expect to, to be like, oh, oh. But Julia Hart's got some skills. So does Kira Hogan. But Julia Hart got it over her. But this was the real story. Was Anna Jay comes out. She starts attacking. They start fighting. The feud is not over, you spooky bitch. She's even, Julia Hart's even got a, a shirt now that says the spooky one or spooky love or spooky, spooky something. But I, I found that, I found that awesome. I was like, I need that shirt. <laughs> I love Julia Hart. I, I don't know why ever since that promo with Anna, when she called her a spooky bitch, and then now seeing Julia in action, I'm just like, all right, I, I, I really do like her. So, you know, bring the spookiness. <laughs> Lexi's with Christopher Daniels backstage, and he talks about it. You know, he goes, I, I he goes, ah, yes, I got a sign of respect. I got a sign of this, but I'm not here for that. I'm here for championships. I'm here for wins. That's what I'm here for. It doesn't matter how old I am. I'm here for wins. Uh, you know, and it was, and the, he was interrupted by the Blackpool Combat Club, and uh, Moxie steps in with Claudio and Wheeler. He's like, hey, man, he's cool. He's cool, man. He's cool. And they're like, oh, okay. But no, Moxley turns, hits Christopher Daniels right in, bump, bombards his head right into the the uh, the lockers. Bam, 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 bam. I was like, ooh, baby. <laughs> and then, and, and uh, Moxley ends up with, we never change. Blackpool Combat Club out. <laughs> now, <laughs> man, I wish he said that. Blackpool Combat Club out. <laughs> I don't know why I find that funny. Like he has his hands in a, in a two in a peace gesture. You know, he, he throws it like ah. You can't see it, but uh, <laughs> Jeff Jarrett, Jay Lethal, FDR team up against the varsity uh, varsity athletes and Slim J with Mark Sterling. Uh, Mark is watching on, but. Uh, after we're, after the match, like Jeff Jarrett, Jay Lethal, FTR, they all come to, uh, even during the match, they were like butting heads with each other. They won the match, uh, but they were butting heads with each other. Uh, Mark, Mark comes out, he's trying to split them up and everything like that. He's just like, Hey, 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 hey you know, trying to keep the peace, trying to keep the love and all that. So that story continues, but this, this was, this was a, this was a, a match that, uh, I enjoyed it a little bit. I think mainly because of the internal feud of the team. That that you know, especially with FTR and uh, Jeff Jarrett, uh, Jay Lethal. You know, I I, I like that. I, I like that aspect there. And uh, it was nice to see Slim J. I was waiting for you know, waiting for the tear more of those uh, wife beaters that he does on Ring of Honor. <laughs> um, Orange Cassidy package definitely uh, one of those things where. I, you know, they're building my, I was like, man, I love Orange Cassidy. I, I didn't realize how much I love Orange Cassidy seeing this package. I was like, yeah, I want to see him defend that international championship some more. Because Orange Cassidy's cool, man. He's from wherever, ways, whatever. He's Orange Cassidy. So whatever, you know. Now, it's time for the main event. I'm sorry, Mark Henry. I had to. I had to. Triple A Mega Championship Del Hijo El Vikingo versus Jolistico. And uh, Jolistico's not alone. He's got LFI in his corner. Um, you know, so uh, I, 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 oof, I, oof, ah. I expected more of this match. <laughs> I think it's probably because of TV time or something like that. You know, I, I, I don't know. Like, there was some fun stuff in here, but I was expecting these two to go balls to the wall. There was a beatdown by LFI. They beat down Vikingo and everything like that. But I, I, it was one of those moments where I was sitting there, and my wife's sitting there, and I'm like, hey, hey, you got to watch this guy, Vikingo. Like, this dude, oh, you got to watch him. She's like, okay. We watched the match. She goes, what? I was like, ah, oh, he didn't do all the, the stuff that he usually does. You know, like, he, like, the match was okay. The interesting thing out of all of this, the meats and potatoes of it, was being beat down and left there by LFI. And, you know, and that was it. That was the end of the show. And I was like, okay, okay, well, is will the retribution and revenge come from the AA, the triple, uh, AAW side? You know, not AAW, uh, triple A side? Like, will that story continue there or will it continue here in AEW? So, but I'm invested. 
Because I really do like Vinkingo. Vinkingo's like one of those dudes. And I've been looking for like a shirt. Some form of merch. You know, they have uh, the triple the A store on uh, Pro Wrestling Tees. But that's about it. Like, I, I was like, Vikingo needs merch. I will buy the merch. I'll be like, take my goddamn money. Take it. Take it, Lord. Um, so overall, I give this show a solid four out of five. It was entertaining. It was fun. Um, I, I had a good time, a good hour of just nonsense, of just pure professional wrestling at its finest. Out of a day that I had that was pretty terrible. I had a pretty terrible day, y'all. <laughs> but it was nice to be like, you know what? After after such a shitty day, I got pro wrestling at the end of it. And the, I'm, I was so happy that wrestling was on a Saturday. AEW Rampage was on a Saturday. And I was like, oh, thank the Lord. I just sunk in my chair, popped a gummy, and just went to town and just had a good time. Like I said, four out of five, some great matches. Uh, Kira Hogan versus Julie Hart was fun. Um, you should definitely check that match out. Moxley, Daniels, of course, they brought a classic. But, man, that main event was a little underwhelming. I was I was expecting more, you know, uh, of that match. But it is what it is. So four out of five. Tell me what you thought of the show. What was your highs? What was your lows? What did you like? What did you dislike? And, uh, yeah, that's it. That's all. Go get yourself some New World Podcast merch. Go get that sweet logo created by Penta X. Check out his music as well. Go get the True Sexy Ninja mascot uh, created by Katie. You know, there's so much on our T Public store, and I'm still working on getting the pro wrestling tees um, for the New World Podcast. And some major, major changes are down the pipeline. Uh, I am still working out the kinks and I'm still working out what we're going to do. Uh, well, what I'm going to do. So just stay tuned for that. And that's it. That's all. Like and subscribe. Share with your grandma. Share with your grandma. Share with the bum down at Walmart. I'm just kidding. Play it. Play it. Play it. Share with the bum down at Walmart. Because I am KMB, the sexy ninja. And as always, the new world podcast is for life brother is retire what from screwing up i'm here